Hello and welcome to another episode of the D-Hard House Podcast. My name is Alicia and I'm coming to you from Texas, where I live with my husband and my dog. I totally heard her sigh. She's out in the hallway. You probably didn't hear that. Sorry, my dog is adorable. Okay, so if you are a new viewer, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I will say this episode is going to be different from my usual episodes because this is my 2018 year in review episode where I'm going to highlight things uh, that I've created in this past year and talk about things I liked and things I didn't. And I haven't made that much of a plan, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Anyway, uh, but before I get into the actual crafty content, okay, I want to announce winners of our knit alongs, crochet alongs, and make alongs. So I had three craft alongs finish at the end of 2018. Uh, one of those was a shawl knit along. And the other two were about making blankets, one for adult size blankets and one for baby size blankets. The blanket make alongs were running for the entire year because blankets take a long time, right? So uh, I'm going to be announcing those winners today as well as the winner of the All the Shawls of Fall knit along. So before I announce the winners, let me show you the prizes because each person who, uh, has been drawn to win a prize, uh, is going to get a bag and a mini skein of yarn from me. And the mini skein coordinates with the bag. I know, it's cute. <laughs> okay, so first of all, let me say all the winners were drawn using random.org. Uh, my post was number one, saying all the rules and yada yada. Uh, so the, the um, entries were drawn from two all the way down to the last entry, and I just chose it random, so everyone had an equal chance of winning. Okay, so I did that off camera so that you don't watch the boringness of all of that. So first, let me remember the order here. Okay, so the first prize right here is a pineapple bag. This is one of my um, sock size small bags. Uh, what I'm going to do is add snaps to uh, the bags as the closure. So I haven't done that yet. I still need to finish it up. But uh, there are going to be snaps on this bag. So we've got colorful pineapples here. And the mini skein that goes with it is this guy right here. Uh, yeah, I love it. My lighting is not the best, so I might have some other um, video going on on screen, but anyway. Okay, so the winner of this prize right here is for the All the Shawls of Fall knit along. And the winner is number five, Lil Jaswan. And I'm sorry if I am not pronouncing your Ravelry name correctly, but Lilja, you win. So please send me a private message on Ravelry with your address, um, your mailing address, um, and your name so that I can put this in the mail and send it to you. Like I said, I'm going to add snaps onto the bag um, and then pop the mini skein inside and then ship it to you. So congratulations! Please send me a message with your name and address. Okay, so for the blanket make-alongs, and these were make-alongs because any craft was allowed, knitting, crocheting, sewing, weaving, cross-stitch, anyway, it doesn't matter, it's over, but <laughs> any craft was allowed. So I will start with the cozy couch make along which was my original um make along for the year and then i decided to add on the baby blanket one later uh but for the cozy couch make along which is about making adult size blankets you are going to win this larger bag which is garden themed and your mini skein is this nice dark green yes I know. 
I love it. Okay, so for the cozy couch make along, again, I will be adding snaps to this bag. It does have a box bottom, it stands up, handle, will have snaps for the closure. You'll get the mini skein with, with it. And the winner is entry number two, Squirrel 21. <laughs> and Squirrel 21, I love your Ravelry picture. Ravatar, is that what it's called? <laughs> with the squirrel with the glasses, it is adorable. Anyway, uh, if I remember correctly, Squirrel 21 finished two blankets, which is awesome. So congratulations. Please send me a private message on Ravelry with your name and mailing address so that I can send this off to you. And the last winner for today is the winner of the Cozy Crib Make Along, which was all about crafting baby blankets. So the uh, winner will receive this bag with cute sheepies on it oh my gosh I love it and this mini skein to go with it which is a nice soft brown with pink speckles oh yeah so the winner of this prize is number four gals win girl congratulations Again, please send me a private message on Ravelry with your name and mailing address so that I can ship this prize off to you. So congratulations to all of the winners of the bags and mini skeins. Yay. Okay. Now, I need to take a break from knit alongs because, whew, all right, the pressure is off. Christmas is over. Gift knitting, I want to say is on pause, but it's like it never stops. <laughs> anyway, it's post holidays and uh, everyone's going back to work and I just need a break. And I think we all kind of need a break. So for January, I am not running any kind of knit along or make along at all because I need a break. I think I've earned it. All right, so year in review. So I'm not going to talk about anything that I'm currently knitting. I'm going to put that in a separate episode because otherwise this would just be insanely long. So um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Ravelry, first of all, Ravelry.com, amazing resource. Uh, not only can you find free patterns and patterns to purchase, uh, but you can also track projects that you're making. You can take notes, post pictures, keep track of your yarn and needle size and gauge. Uh, anything you would want to keep track of with your projects. You can even keep track of hand spun yarn and stash. There is a way to upload all the yarn in your stash to keep track of it digitally. Ravelry is an insanely awesome resource and it's free, you guys. So if you don't have an account, here's my plug. You should make one <laughs> and check out Ravelry.com because it's awesome. So I use Ravelry to track my projects. I tried using it for stash, but I just can't keep up with it. So it's fine. Uh, but I do use it to track my projects. So I make a project page. I do the start date, end date. Uh, and I try to put up pictures. There are some projects I still need to post pictures for. <laughs> But like one of them is a pair of socks that I knit for my mom and I gave them to her for Christmas and I forgot to take a picture of the socks before I gave them to her. So at some point I'm going to have to be like, mom, could I borrow your Christmas gift to take a picture so that I can post it on my Ravelry? Anyway, sometimes I forget to take pictures. But otherwise, um, I love keeping track of my yardage and my progress. And sometimes I forget when I started a project and it's nice to go in and be like, that has been on the needles for three months, hasn't it? Hmm, maybe I should finish that. So I love Ravelry. Anyway, I went through and oh, yes, here we go. 
So I went on to Ravelry and I looked up the um, stats for my knitting for 2018. And then I also looked up the stats for 2017 so I could compare my progress. So this past year in 2018, I knit, I don't think I did any crochet projects. It was all knit. So I knit 14,970 yards of yarn, which is crazy. <laughs> So that's for the whole year. That's of projects that I finished in 2018. So if they were projects I'd started uh, in a previous year, I still counted it for, towards 2018 because I finished it that year. The previous year in 2017, I knit 12,180 yards. So I bumped it up a little bit. But here's what's funny. In 2018, I only had 31 projects. In the previous year in 2017, I had 32 projects. Oh gosh. Anyway, still 30 some odd projects finished in a year. That's pretty good. So I'm very pleased, uh, especially with the projects that I did finish. So this previous year, 2018, oh, I'm suffering from dry throat today. Sorry. Okay. So in 2018, I knit 13 socks, pairs of socks finished 13 of them four sweaters four two of those were for men the other two were for me <laughs> i knit four sweaters i knit one for my husband who was not my husband at the time that i finished it for because we got married last year yay so another accomplishment for 2018, uh, Michael and I tied the knot in July, but see, I had finished his sweater in January or February. Yep. One of those early months. So we were engaged. <laughs> anyway, so I knit four sweaters, one for my husband, one for my dad, and then two for me. But hey, that's good. I knit six shawls. This was not one of them. <laughs> this was from the previous year. Um, and one hat. One hat. <laughs> so the previous year, I actually, in 2017, I actually knit more socks. I knit 18 pairs of socks in 2017, but only two sweaters that year. Uh, five shawls and four hats. So... It's a uh, pretty balanced there. Uh, I didn't create any oddball items. I did not create any stuffed animals or um, pillow covers or anything like, not that a pillow cover is out of the ordinary, but I think you know what I mean. That I mostly knit shawls, socks, I'm dabbling more into sweaters and hats. Um, and I always have blankets going in the background. I feel like I never finish them, but I always have them <laughs> in progress. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, about 1,500 more yards than the previous year, which is kind of neat. Um, let's see. What else? Year in review. Yes, I do also talk about my uh, running and fitness on the podcast. So uh, in 2018, I ran a total of 65.7 miles throughout the whole year. 65. Isn't that crazy? There were definitely some months where I didn't really run at all. Uh, and then the previous year in 2017, I actually ran 68.99, 68.99. It's basically 69 miles. Uh, so I actually ran less, uh, this last year by about three and a half miles. Should have done a 5k, should have slipped one in there somewhere and it would have made up the difference. <laughs> That's funny. So, um, 
if you are a new viewer, then you probably don't know. I, uh, I teach math at a college here in town for a living, for a, li a living, that's right. For a living, I teach math. So I am a numbers person and I love statistics and I like using numbers to gauge progress. Go figure. So um, I like doing the year in review because it gives me some perspective on what I've done before, where and where I want to go from there. So um, while we're on the subject of running, I do want to run more. I love running. It's very zen. It's relaxing. Like knitting, <laughs> except healthier for my body. Um, so I definitely want to do more running. Uh, this last year, I didn't participate in any uh, racing events. I didn't do a single 5k. Uh, and so this next year, I want to uh, do that again. So that's one of my goals is to run in at least one event in 2019. 5k or higher. <laughs> I'd love to do a 10k. Uh, and then for knitting, because this is mostly a crafty podcast, uh, for knitting and whatnot, I really want to, um, I, I, I'm really liking making sweaters. I'm wearing one of the sweaters that I knit, um, this year in 2018. And I just, I just love it. I love wearing the things that I've made and I want to make more, uh, more garments this year. So, yeah, that's one of my goals. Um, other than that, I don't really have like a, oh, I want to make this thing, you know. Uh, I do want to finish at least one blanket this year. I had these blanket make-alongs and I didn't finish, I finished a baby blanket. I did. I did. So, okay. I want to finish an adult size blanket this year. <laughs> um, I have two currently in progress and they're both mitered square blankets that are being knit. One is, um, using random, uh, colors, very colorful blanket. And, uh, the other one is white, gray, and charcoal and set up to be like a buffalo check pattern. So, I want to finish at least one of those this year. It'd be awesome if I could finish both, but don't get ahead of yourself, Alicia. Just chill. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I would love to do that. So more sweaters and finish one of the blankets that I have going. Yes. And Basically with the blanket is that what happens is I get really ambitious with my goals and I go, oh, I'm going to knit a square a day and then it should be finished by this time. And then I go like a whole month without knitting on that thing. So then I have, excuse me, 30 squares that I need to catch up on and it seems impossible. So I'm just not going to set goals like that for myself. I'm just going to knit on it when I feel like it and not put that extra pressure on myself because this year for Christmas, I did not put any extra pressure on myself and that was awesome. That was awesome. I did gift four knit items. Yeah. And I didn't put the pressure on myself and it was much more enjoyable. So thanks for tuning in for the 2018 year in review wrap up. Really short and sweet. I like it. <laughs> uh, congratulations to all the winners of the make alongs. Again, please send me a private message on Ravelry. I am a Liddy Knits 2. Send me your name and mailing address and I'll get those prizes right out to you. Uh, so tune in to the next episode to see what, uh, else I am currently working on and the things I did end up finishing by the end of 2018. <laughs> All right, guys, take care and happy knitting. Bye.